Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Who were the Boston Marathon bombers and what happened to them? Netflix has released a new documentary commemorating the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing, American Manhunt. The Boston Marathon bombing examines the events surrounding the attack when two terrorists bombed the Boston Marathon finish line. On April 15, 2013, the day of Patriots National Day, two homemade bombs were planted near the finish line of the race, both of which detonated seconds apart at 2.49 p.m. To mark the 10th anniversary of the tragedy, new three-part docuseries surrounding the tense days were released based on the attack, they compile an up-to-the-minute retelling of the manhunt, from thousands of hours of video surveillance, police radio and cell phone footage. The series also includes testimonies from police officers, FBI agents and ordinary citizens, whose exploits led to the arrest of the killers. The attack prompted killed several victims and injured hundreds more. In the days that followed, law enforcement launched a massive manhunt for the perpetrators, culminating in a deadly scream. Who were the Boston Marathon bombers and what happened to them? Three days after the bombing, on April 18, the suspects were identified as two Chechen Kurds' American brothers, Zakir, 19, and Tamerlan Sarnev, 26. During a visit in 2002, Zakir and his family applied for asylum in the United States and became naturalized citizens in 2012. While Tamerlan emigrated to the United States in 2004, Zakir was a student at the prestigious Dartmouth University at the time of the bombings. Larry Aronson, a history teacher at Cambridge Ringe and Latin High School where Zakir was previously enrolled, told CBS the former student is a great kid with lots of friends. Discover, learn, grow, we are curious. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. I know this kid to be compassionate. I know this kid is open-minded, he said. He is a great athlete, a sportsman, he has never been in trouble. He was just generous, he was compassionate, he was.